Join us as we count down the quickest West Indies bowlers of all time. Mark, are you ready for this exciting episode that we're about to get into? We're ready to go with the West Indies quickest bowlers. This list will entail names that we have not mentioned in our first top 10 West Indies fast bowlers video. Let's get right into number 10, Mark. Number 10, man. Who are we going with on number 10? Fidel Edwards, discovered by Brian Lara in the Nets. A slingy action, something like a, a Jeff Thompson action. Quick through the air, had a good bouncer, swing the ball away. That was his strength. Genuine quick bowler. Genuine wicket taker as well, but just didn't really last long in West Indies. Cricket was just prone for to injury, but on his test debut, he picked up five for 36 versus Sri Lanka. A genuine quick fast bowler. He was absolutely quick and emerging in the early 2000s. Edwards' action and speed quickly made him a crucial member of that bowling attack. Number 10, Fidel Edwards. Let's move on to number nine. Who are we going with? On number nine. Manny Martin Dale from Barbados, one of the early pioneers of West Indies fast bowling back in the early 30s. Only played 10 test matches for West Indies, got 37 wickets, but from all reports, was an aggressive fast bowler, genuine pace. He started the legacy of West Indies cricket. He, along with Leary Constantine, was the two fast bowlers in the attack. Genuine fast bowler, played in England in the leagues not too much reports else from that because i say it was early 1928 30s but from all reports he was a genuine fast bowler roughed up batsman back in the day very quick and played cricket his cricket in the leagues in england for many years from barbados i believe and in the 1930s alongside leary constantine mattingdale was among the early practitioners of genuine quick bowling from the caribbean and his pace and ability to swing the ball at high speed made him a formidable opponent during his international career Number nine, Manny Mattingdale. Who yes, are we number, going with at number eight? Yes, number eight, Charlie Griffith from Barbados, another Barbadian fast bowler. Partnered West Hall in the 60s. Had a, a very good bouncer, a lethal bouncer. Was a bit controversial like, with his bowling action. The English said he had a suspect action, but to the naked eye, he looks like he was clean. In the 1963 tour to England, he ended with 119 wickets on that tour. And in the test matches, he picked up 32 wickets. A good in-swing bowler. Known for hitting a lot of batsmen, a genuine wicket taker, one of the quickest in West Indies bowling history. Griffith was known for his lethal pace and controversial bouncer, which made him one of the most intimidating bowlers of his era. Ability to consistently deliver fast and aggressive balls made him a figure in that attack. Charlie Griffith, number eight. Who are we going with at number seven, man? So Wes Hall, genuine fast bowler, the leader of West Indies bowling attack from 1958 to 1966. Hostile, classical bowling action, hustled up to the wicket, genuine pace, genuine bouncer, good outswinger. He was he was a real deal. In 1963, he also broke Colin Cowdery, Cal- one of the great English batsmen with a bouncer, a staple in West Indies cricket, West Hall. And he was legendary. Again, another bowler from Barbados. Hall was one of the pioneers of, again, genuine quick bowling known for his long run-up and explosive pace. His battles with batsmen are part of a cricketing folklore, making him one of the most celebrated fast bowlers in the history. Let's move on to number six. Number six, Wayne Daniel. Again, from Barbados. Muscular fast bowler. Had a big stride, a leaping sort of delivery. Back in the 70s, like 1976, he played in the West Indies Tour to England, along Andy Roberts, Van Van Holder, and Michael Holden. Genuine quick bowler. Had a good bouncer. Loved to dig it in. You know, loved to rough up batsmen was known as the Black Diamond. He played for Middlesex in the English Country Championship in the mid, up to the mid-80s. Daniel only played 10 test matches for West Indies, 36 wickets. His best was 5 for 39, but with Marshall, Ghana, Holden, Croft, Roberts in the team, it was really hard for him. So that's how this list is so important to the legacy of West Indies. Again, another baller from Barbados, Mark. So we see, we're see we seeing a trend here as we go through this list, right? The quickest bowlers of all time as we run through, we notice that they're from Barbados. Is there a particular reason for that, Mark? Or is it just a coincidence? In Barbados, everybody wanted to bowl quick. Well, he had a, a good legacy. You had Charlie Griffith. You had Wes Hall. Even Sir Gary Sobers bowl quick as well. And the pitches in Barbados are susceptible to pace bowling. So that encouraged the fast bowling. And everybody in Barbados... BCA cricket or BCL cricket wanted to bowl fast. So that's one main reason. So number five, man. Let's move on to number five. We're getting into the top five. Number five, Winston Davis from St. Vincent and the Deans. Played for West Indies uh, in 1981. Made his test debut against India. Has a World Cup record of 7 for 51 versus Australia 1983. A genuine quick fast bowler. Saw I saw him many times bowl live. Quick run up, quick arm action. Off a 
short run and Davis had a, a good out swinger, dangerous bouncers, hit a lot of batsmen. I remember in 1983, watching him versus Jamaica, hit Lawrence wearing the helmet, took the helmet off, was always known for hitting batsmen, genuine, quick, and a, a good bowler, bowl for long spells, genuine, high pace bowler. Winston Davis, one of the great West Indies fast bowlers, but again, couldn't hold a spot in the West Indies team because of the legacy great fast bowlers West Indies had. And with Marshall in the team for a long time, holding Garner, Croft, Roberts, all these guys, you know, he couldn't really break through in the early 80s. Didn't play too long. It made his mark, played in India and those docile pitches in the 1984 Test Series and, and did well, fairly good for West Indies as well. That was our number five, Winston Davis. Let us know what you guys think of these picks so far and what your list looks like. We want to know your list as well. So let us know in the comments what you guys think. Make sure to check out our links in the description of the Reverse Scoop shop, as well as our membership tiers. We have three membership tiers that you can join. And based on different sets of tiers, you get different perks. So make sure to check those out. Check out the perks. Check out the shop. Check out Mark's uh, Caribbean Man Cricket Bat. I'll link all those links in the description. So feel free to go ahead and, and check those links out for us. Mark, let's move on to the top four, man. Top four drum roll, guys. Sylvester Clark from Barbados, another genuine fast bowler had a, a wicked bouncer this man probably hit more batsmen in cricket than any other fast bowler played a long time in the english county championship played for west indies in the world series cricket played in against pakistan and played against australia in the late 70s genuine bouncer hustled up to the wicket had a genuine in swing mainly swing the ball into the batsman but was a devastating fast bowler a very fair fast bowler in england during the county season when he played for Surrey, every match they had an ambulance pack already waiting in the wings at the ground. He played 11 test matches, 42 wickets, best of five for 126. And I thought that he would have played longer if it wasn't for incident in Pakistan when some spectators throw oranges and bottles and brick and he picked up one of the, the missile and threw it back in the crowd and hit someone. And I think that really cut short his career but other one than that a brilliant bowler lives in the history of Barbados and West Indies cricket another one of those guys who the fans had mentioned in our in the comments in our videos they wanted to see Sylvester Clark on the list and here he is guys he was another Barbadian fast bowler who played during the 70s 80s he was limited in his international career as Mark mentioned number four Sylvester Clark comes in at number four honor quickest West Indies fast bowlers of all time. Top three, Mark. We're getting into the top three, man. Yes, number three is Yutan Dow from Jamaica. Express fast bowler, temperamental, bowl very quick, played four test matches for the West Indies between 1972 and 73. Right arm, genuine fast bowler, played against Australia. A story about he was bowling so erratic that one of the spectators call out and say, the 11th commandment, we all know of the 10 commandments. So the spectators call out and say, the 11th commandment is youth and thou, thou shall not bowl because he was bowling so erratic versus stock pole, he was spraying the ball, wide <laughs> bouncer, just, just, at that level, wasn't really up to par, but with yeah. his pace, he had genuine pace. You know, back in the day, they didn't have speed guns, but when spectators or the groundsman or the commentator tell you a bowler had genuine pace, this was one of them, one of the fast bowlers, genuine pace. Newton Dow goes down in the history of one of West Indies' quickest fast bowler. A bit erratic, temperamental, but had the genuine pace. Some good, great insights there by Mark on Newton Dow. So Newton Dow, number three. Let us know what you guys think of all these picks so far. We're getting into the top two, and I'm sure you guys will probably be a little surprised or some will agree with us, We'll see, you know, where, where this one goes. So, Mark, number two, man. Who are we going with on number two? Yes, another Jamaican fast bowler. Express temperamental fast bowler, Roy Gilchrist. Didn't play too long for West Indies, but had genuine pace. Every ball, he bowled quicker than the other. In India tour with West Indies team, he hit A.G. Kripal Singh. It bumps on his head knocking off his turban. His skipper, skipper Alexander at the time warned him not to bowl too many bounces and he, did, he just ignored him. In another match in a uh, versus North Zone, Batsman hit him for three consecutive fours or three fours in the over and he, he overstepped and bowled Beamers. Also, that Batsman was Sauringer Singh and he also hit him in his head with a bouncer as well. He was sent home from one of those tours because of his temperamental behavior. But on the cricket field, with the ball, he was express pace, genuine 
fast bowler. Roy Gilchrist was again a fearsome fast bowler in the late 50s, known for his hostility and pace and marked by a fiery temperament and a very quick arm action, which allowed him to bowl again at high speed. So that was a number two, Roy Gilchrist, and another name that brought up in the comments by the fans and the viewers. So number one, genuine fast bowler. Jeff Dujan stated he was the quickest fast bowler he ever wicked keep too. And his test debut picked up seven wickets. Graham Gooch, one of the great English batsmen, said he was just frightened or scared to face this guy. The 28 test matches, 93 wickets, best of five for 28. That was how he was such a devastating express fast bowler that just put fear in a lot of batsmen. If you haven't checked out our West Indies greatest all-time test 11, you'll find it on the screen right here. Mark Audain and Nabil Khan from the Reverse Scoop signing off. Have a great night.